I'm joined once again by Hakeem Duwadu, but circumstances are a little bit different this time because he is the newest member of the UFC roster. Hakeem, how the heck are you? I imagine pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. Um, I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling it's a long time overdue and it's just time to uh, do some work and catch up. How much weight is lifted off your shoulders? Because I know you've been in negotiations with the UFC for a while. You've had the, you know, the, the undefeated record. You were a guy that the name kept coming up as far as someone that the UFC should sign. Um, just tell me your feelings right now as far as, you know, not have, now that you're finally a member of the roster. You know, my feelings right now, like I said, I feel like I just got to gotta catch up to some work. I feel like that already should have been done. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it just gave me even more motivation. You know, I was kind of in limber there for a bit. You know, I was out of WSOF and I was trying to, you know, land a contract with the UFC. So now that I'm finally here, it just, it feels great, you know? Did you ever feel like there was a point this might not happen, especially with the fact that they didn't get you on that Edmonton card? Because that seemed like a slam dunk for you being on UFC 215. Yeah, you know, I was definitely wondering what the holdup was. And I was starting to, you know, maybe think I should look otherwise. But, you know, um, uh, my manager, Truck, uh, he just told me, you know, be patient. The roster's full. They want you on. They're interested. Keep training. Make sure you're in shape. When the call comes, make sure you're ready. And uh, sure enough, it came, and uh, we're ready. Who was the first person you told when you found out the news? First person I told, um, you know, I probably called my coaches. Uh, those first people, the first people I told, I called all my coaches. And, uh, you know, I told them the news. Um, second, you know, I probably just called a couple of my homeboys and was like, you know, guess what, you know, this and that. And so it's just crazy, man. It, it's, it's very surreal. You know what I mean? I've been wanting this for a very long time. So it's just, it's taken me a little bit to, to put it all in perspective. Now you've got the contract. When are you making your debut? Do you know that yet? As far as, uh, you know, when we'll see you in the cage, you know, my manager, Chuck, uh, he told me he's in contact with the UFC and they said, be ready for January, February. So, uh, I'll have a I'll have a full training camp ahead of me, and you'll see a, a full 100% Mina Keen better than ever than you've ever seen before. You know what I mean? Um, I'm really excited to put on a show, and uh, I feel sorry who they're going to put in front of me. <laughs> exactly. Are you, are you looking at that Boston card? That seems to be a pretty big card. They're kind of gearing up uh, in January. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at all the cards. You know, um, I trust my manager. He got me here, so wherever he tells me I'm going to go, I'm going to go, and uh, I'm just going to do what I do. Excellent. And how is training going right now? Uh, I know one of your teammates, uh, Jesse Arnett, he's got a big fight coming up here in December. Have you been kind of putting in the rounds with him? You know, um, you know, Jesse Arnett, he's a, he, you know, he's good. He's good to work with. You know what I mean? He had a little bit of an injury and uh, you know what I mean? But he's got a big fight coming up. Um, actually, uh, I'm going to be going down to Greg Jackson's for, for six weeks and I'm going to be doing a training camp down there. So, uh, you know, that that's kind of the plan right now. Um, um, it's it's hard for me to get good sparring in the city sometimes. Excellent. And and how did that come together with you going uh, down and training at Greg Jackson's? Um, Chuck has a has kind of a connection there. He felt it was the right the right feel for me. He felt uh, that that's where he thought I'd grow even more. So you know, I kind of trust him. I've I've heard good things about that gym. Obviously, it's a it's a world renowned gym. So it just seems like the the right move to make. And uh, for those who don't know, Chuck's uh, one, one of his other clients, Mitch Clark, uh, he went down to Jackson Wink, so I'm guessing there's a little connection there as well. Um, are you? Ex- I was going to say, are you excited to, to get to go down there and train with some, some killers to, uh, down at uh, Jackson Wink? Exactly, man. I'm super excited to push myself to, uh, you know, just further my skill set and see if I can, you know, learn even more, you know what I mean, and progress, progress my <laughs> skill and, you know, prove I'm the best out there, you know what I mean, at the Featherway at 145. When are you heading down to Jackson Wink? Have you figured that out yet? Uh, we'll be leaving in the next couple of weeks. You know what I mean. Obviously, I gotta, I gotta let my, uh, I, I teach. You know what I mean. So I gotta let you know my gym know take some time off. I'm, I got a big fight ahead of me, and a lot of people are gonna be uh, supporting me. I'm gonna get all my sponsors together and make sure I'm all comfy when I have a, a six week training camp. Yeah, and I imagine you're gonna be staying in the dorms over there because I know that's what uh, Mitch did when he went down there. Yeah, I'll be staying at the dorms down there. And, and as far as, uh, you know, what, the, the featherweight division in the UFC, how do you sort of feel like you match up against most of these guys? Because, uh, you know, right now it's, it's going through a bit of a transition period uh, with Max Holloway being the new champion. You know, yes, I feel like I match up well against anybody. I really have the mindset that I am the number one. I feel powerful. I, I'm not going to shy away from anybody. Whoever they put in front of me, I'm planning on putting away. Is there anyone you want to fight in your debut? Do you want a name or is it just whoever they're going to give you? 
you know, it's whoever they're going to give me. I know I'm new to the roster. I'm going to have to build my way up, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there, get a spectacular knockout, put a couple of knockouts together, and then people will really start turning their heads and wondering who this kid is. And, of course, uh, another World Series of Fighting guy who made the jump to the UFC is uh, Justin Gaethje. Do you kind of feel like you're in a similar situation where, you know, just maybe a win or two will propel you sort of into, uh, you know, the contender's pitcher? Definitely. I feel like once they see my skill set and they see what, what they're working with, I feel like it'll be a huge break for me. Well, who do you have to sort of thank to, to get to this point? Uh, I mean, this is a huge milestone in your career. I know it's only just getting started, but to make it to the UFC is a pretty big deal. Well, I want to thank, first off, uh, a John Mike Miles. Um, he was uh, my first real trainer that, you know, taught me how to be a, a world-class fighter. Um, he took me out, you know, when I was, you know, fresh out of juvie and, you know, just kind of taught me how to, how to be a professional. Um, second, I want to thank, uh, Brian Bird, my MMA coach. He's the one who actually got me, you know, learning the ground, my jujitsu, my wrestling. So I want to say big thanks to Brian Bird and Champions Creed, um, Mike Miles. Um, I want to say a big thanks to my coach, Nick Gies at the, at the athlete factory, you know, my strength and conditioning coach. I want to say a big thanks to, uh, Eric at Teal Fist of Boxing, my boxing coach, you know, who believes in me. I want to say a big thing to my manager, Chuck, Julian at Upgrade Marketing for getting me out of WSOF and, and getting me all my sponsors and also my sponsor, Affliction. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of people I have to thank, man. I, if I'm missing anybody, I apologize. Well, congratulations, Akeem. Again, long overdue, and I'm excited to see you make your debut in the Octagon. Uh, just if you got any social media or any sponsors, anything like that, that you want to plug in this interview, by all means, go for it. The floor is yours. If- Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Mean Akeem. Follow me at Twitter at Mean Akeem. You know, my Facebook page, Mean Akeem, pretty simple. Snapchat, Mean Akeem. Hit me up.